So sometimes you just gotta have some fun, right? <laughs> right? Also, always telling a, a, a joke, but besides that, disciplining my thought. What's up, Wealthy Nation? Welcome to the Your Wealthy Journey Show. This is the place where I interview successful entrepreneurs every single week on their business success journey. Today, our guest is Rohit Isaias. Who is Rohit? Phil Hutt is the founder of Suriname Speaking Academy, where he helps professionals present himself in a better way. He also helps children and adults overcome their fear of public speaking. And let's jump into the interview and get a view of Phil Hutt's wealthy journey. So Phil Hutt, how are you today, man? Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Joseph. I am doing wonderful. Thank you. Okay, I'm glad to have you on the show today, man. And, yes. Um, let's jump into our first question. What does wealth mean to you, man? Wealth, wealth, whoa. That's a wonderful question. Thank you so much. Wealth means to me, I thought about it for a while, and the thoughts that come to my mind is that wealth is having enough resources for yourself to do what you want, with whoever you want, whenever you want. Okay. Yes. That's it? Yes, that's my, uh, my honest uh, uh, personal definition for... Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And let, um, tell us a bit about yourself. Who is Philhar or Philhar Isayas? Philgar Isayas. Yes. Okay. Nothing, nothing sells like enthusiasm and nothing spreads like enthusiasm. I'm talking about my signature strength as a personality. I'm Philgar Isaias, as you introduced me. And one of the most important qualities that I have is that I want to continually invest in my personal and professional development. And with my gained knowledge, experience, and skills, I want to serve other people. I want to serve uh, society. I uh, love uh, the achievement of great things. It, it's such a thrill for me to achieve great results. So I always go for great things, go for big things. I think uh, that everybody is destined to do uh, great things. Uh, we, uh, we all have seeds of greatness within us. So uh, that is one of my deep convictions. Furthermore, I have a big passion for people. People like Mr. Youssef, <laughs> and I have a big passion for speaking. Uh, I do that at the Suriname Speaking Academy, uh, my business, okay. and I teach people the art of public speaking. Okay, and um, yes, how long ago did you start uh, your business? Um, tell, tell us something that you love about your business. Uh, you know, simply teaching people how to present themselves. I think it's one of the most important uh, skills that you can develop as a human being. I mean, everywhere you go, you present yourself. When you walk, when you talk, when you communicate, when you interact with others, you're presenting yourself. You are manifesting your personality to the world. So I said to myself, if that's one of the most important skills as a human being, to have as a person why is it not teached at at at, at school right okay. so uh, I, I had a difficult time to grasp that in my mind so i said okay no let's start something now let's 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 help people to learn how to present themselves better okay um but um like how long ago did this idea come about like to to start this business honestly yosef let me tell you from a very early age i had a natural ability to connect with others i had uh, the, the 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 skills the personality to easily start conversations with others i can remember i think in the, in the first grade in the second grade you know people uh, Teachers spotted me. They, they said, whoa, you! <laughs> you are very talkative. Okay. You are a very talk, 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 talkative uh, 
young boy and we would like you to help us with some activities or to present uh, a show at school or to be part of a musical so from uh, the elementary school till uh, secondary school college I had a wonderful opportunity to be part of many great shows and uh, to be the MC of, of, of activities and present activities at school. So I had a passion for speaking and connecting with others from a very early age, but later it became bigger and I've been busy for seven months uh, with Suriname Speaking Academy. Yes, oh. right now, okay. up till now. Okay. And can you maybe share with us what was one of your biggest struggle, like um, starting this business of yours, this new form of business of yours? Absolutely. One of the uh, challenges, first, first of all, you know, I was, I was, I was a youth worker, right? Yeah. I helped at social projects, uh, social activities, for the world business and the world social activities okay. are two different worlds. Yes. Two, two totally completely different worlds. So I had to change my mindset to think differently about business and to learn business skills and to learn how business actually works. So I had to completely shift my mind and I soon uh, uh, noticed that one of my biggest challenges to uh, give answer to your question was the pricing, right? I was already good, but I underestimated myself. Said, okay, whoa, do I have to ask so much? Do I have to ask this price? Do I have to ask that, right? Or let's let's keep it though. So I was I was uh, charging way below the value that I was providing to my uh, bar participants so it was a big challenge for me and a big uh, 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 I, I, I had to change my mindset to adjust the pricing of the service I was providing and providing okay and um, like what did you specifically do like to to change that mindset of your to, to maybe ask a high price what do you do yes so you know what first first of all you have to give a uh, good service right people pay for value and uh i always say you know at suriname speaking academy is value entertainment it, it it it's it's value and entertainment we have so much fun and and learning uh at our training uh training activities so um that's one of the core uh values of our our organization so i search for information actually i i I said, okay, listen, we have to combat this challenge. We don't have the right information. We don't have the right data. So I brought my team together and we have discussed it. We have planned it out. We, have, we, we did the math <laughs> and we came up with a correct pricing. And now it's going very well. Now it's going very well. Okay, awesome. And yes. tell us, what do you want to achieve with... Um What's one of your big goal or what, what's your vision for 2018? What do you want to achieve with your business? You know, I see everything bigger. <laughs> okay. I see everything bigger, to be honest. Okay. Uh, I started Suriname Speaking Academy uh, 2017. And you know what? There is so much to come. I've done some great things, to be honest. But man, uh, the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. And I want to de definitely go bigger with Suriname Speaking Academy. As I already said at the beginning, the skill of presenting is not properly thought at school. People don't learn how to present themselves, how to deal with the fear of public speaking, how to work on their self-confidence, right? So it's, it's a challenge for many, 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 many people. Okay. And... The crazy thing about it is, Joseph, I bet you had this challenge too. They don't properly guide you, but they expect it of you, from yeah. you, yeah. right? Real. That's real. There is, yeah. as far as I can remember, right, during elementary school, secondary school, and uh, 
college, there was no subject called yeah. public speaking or learning how to present yourself. Yeah. So they, they expect you to present perfectly, but they don't teach you. And um, I hate it, man. I hate it when I had to present something. I always had that fear inside of me, but um, you had to do it because you wanted a good grade. Yeah. Absolutely. And if, you, and if you can, okay, good for you. But if you have troubles with it, okay, then come yeah. on. And if people don't even have the guts to go in front of a class in front of 25, 30 students, yeah. right? So it's completely unfair. So I said, let's end this year. I had many, many students, fellow students that said, hey, you have to help me, Phil. Well, come on. So I said to myself, one day I will start an organization to help other people learn to present themselves better. And guess what? 2018 will be bigger. Okay, awesome. So that's a bit about you and yes. 2018. Um, what will you, you know, we have a lot of young people here in Suriname mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. also out there in the world. What would you advise them to do to like, start their own business or what advice would you give them i think it's it all depends on how much you can learn how much you can develop yourself and how, how much you you can you can grow as as a business millennial i i, I guess business is a tough world yeah. it's a hard world and if you can deal with it if you don't take care of your business you will soon be out of business. You know, that's, that's, that's what I say. That, that's, that's what I always say. If you don't take care of your business, you will soon be out of business. So make the decision and have the commitment to yourself that you will master your craft better than anybody else. Right? It, does, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter in which field you're active or... <laughs> which product or service you sell or ideas you sell or if you sell yourself, make sure that you do it to the best of your ability because, you know, the market pays for excellence. Yeah, awesome. That's it. That's great. So, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. you, you want to add anything to that? Um, I mean, just, just learn so much. I, I, I think don't underestimate uh, the importance of money. Uh, uh, with regard to business, I think it, the the money uh, uh, it it ultimately is one of the core things about about business. Maybe the most important thing, right? You provide service for money. Money is 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 the core and and uh, the base of of all work, all all businesses. So. Uh, understand how, how money works and understand what money can do for your business and get about the business of doing it. Get about the business of providing value uh, for which people will pay you for in order to grow. Okay. Awesome, man. Great advice. And that was round one. Are you ready for the second round? Yes, yes. Go on. Okay. Uh Well, what's the best book you ever read and why is that? Uh, one of the best books I've ever read is uh, Change Your Thinking, Change Your Life uh, by Brian Tracy, one of the greatest success experts ever. Uh, I've, uh, it, it, and it changed my thinking and it changed my life completely. I, uh, I, after I have finished uh, that book, I said to myself, I will get rid of all the conditioning, right? And all the negative thoughts and all the negative, crazy, crazy thoughts I had about life, about myself, about my family. You know, I had to get rid of all, all that. And we all have those thoughts. We all, we all have those self-limiting beliefs. And that book inspired me to set the path to get rid of them and it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful book I, uh, I I came to know the wonderful uh, uh, how do you call it the wonderful uh, subject about the self-concept you know about your self-image your self-ideal and most importantly your self-esteem how much you love yourself and it's, it's, a, it's a great book Recommended to everyone, every young um, person, every millennial. Okay, awesome. And what's a daily habit that contributes to your success? Uh, 
always do something fun, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Yosef, we both work hard, right? So sometimes you just gotta have some fun, right? <laughs> right? Also, always telling a, a, a joke, but besides that, disciplining my thought, my, my thoughts, right? Uh, never let uh, negative thoughts or self-limiting beliefs take over and always keep my dreams vividly alive, you know, to, uh, to actually go for it and achieve it because that's the most important thing, achieving things. Okay. And who, yes. are your, who are your top three role models? You know, I have to, I, actually, I have no role models, to be honest. I, I, I believe in, in I, I, that, that, that doesn't mean, to be correct, that I, don't get it, that I don't get inspired by others. I mean, all the great speakers, all the great motivational speakers and success experts and coaches, they all inspire me. But... One of the most important things I have learned is that you need to become your own person in the process of personal and professional development. I think that when you have role models, it can soon become that you look up to other people or, you know, would like to imitate other people. No, I think we as human beings, we are unique. We have all our unique style we have our unique life and there is no you you are then you so become your own person okay you're the first one that um, from whom i i've heard this one um answer from okay. yes awesome and great answer mm -hmm. and um something out of business something less serious what's the best entertaining movie you watch so far you know <laughs> uh <laughs> mean girls Mean Girls, I think Mean Girls from Lindsay Lohan. Oh, okay. It's a crazy, crazy comedy. You know, I'm a big fan of humor and uh, was one of the greatest comedies I've ever watched. Okay, awesome. Man. Mm -hmm. Okay, knowing that you're from Suriname, um, tell us, tell me something. What do you love most about um, Suriname? The people. Mm -hmm. Come on. I mean... Okay. Suriname has the most wonderful people. We have a loving country, uh, uh, friendly people. We are, are, are we have uh, peace with each other. We we love each other, and I think we are an, an, a, a, a unique uh, example for the world with so many ethnicities together, living together, working together, and I think that's. A beautiful thing and a beautiful example for the world. So Suriname, I see as as an example for the world. So I think that's the most unique thing about our country. Different people, right? Uh, that came together and work together and live together. You you know what I love about Suriname most? What? The food, Roti? the food, the food. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yes, yes, yes. You know, you know, Surinamese food. Whoa, man! You know, everyone says that about their country. But when you come to Suriname, yeah. you know that it will be something else. Yeah, because so you you, you have the that. different cultures mixed together with all the yeah. food, everything yes. you have here. Absolutely, absolutely. It's, okay. it's amazing. Okay, um, give us a parting piece of advice, man, and let us know how we can connect with you. Okay, absolutely. Advice? Love life. Don't forget to love yourself because one of the things I am that really bothers me about this world is that the world doesn't teach you how to love yourself and accept yourself fully for who you are as a human being. I think that's very important because 
all things if you want to have growth within your life if you want to achieve if you want to master the skill of achievement and if you want to have wonderful relationships all the good things in life it starts with self-love so learn how to love yourself and accept yourself fully uh, for who you are have dreams have goals pursue them like you have gone through your head go after them bam 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 because life has to be enjoyed to the fullest so enjoy it uh, work on your goals daily and don't forget the importance of action Taking action, very important, taking massive action, uh, I think is one of the most important things that you need to know when you work on yourself and when you want to achieve great things. So, uh, action, love yourself, and guess what? Have fun while you do yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, man. Awesome. And how can we connect with you? I'm on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, Suriname Speaking Academy is also on Facebook and YouTube. We have many, many uh, videos uh, there where we teach people how to speak. And hopefully you can get some good tips to improve your speaking, improve uh, the way you present yourself. And uh, yes, connect with us. If you want to know something about uh, our organization, about me personally, about Suriname about speaking about anything that uh, is in my field of, of uh, is, 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 is in my vocation, you know, has to do with my vocation. I will be happy to help, happy to connect with you. Awesome, man. Um, Silhar, thank you for being here on the show. I think we got a ton of value from this. Uh, yeah, man, thank you for being on the show. We enjoyed this. Thank you for having me, uh, Yosef. It was a wonderful honor. And let me tell you, this man right here, ladies and gentlemen, Yosef, one of a kind. One of a kind. He's the best. And uh, follow him. Follow him because Yosef, he has a lot of value. Yeah, you follow, follow that guy too because he is also, and we have some big plans coming up for Suriname and Yes. Uh, maybe also for outside here, but we're starting here together. Okay. Thank you. Shukriya. Have a good day. All right.